And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for another meme tier Monday stream. We have three viewer submitted decks we're going to be playing. First one, as you know, is called Scion Shadows. This is going to be an encroaching shadows deck with Noxus, with all the discard package and with Scion. Because Scion's a champion that uh, loves to have that plus two, plus two and ephemeral. Because of course, whenever you play your Scion, you attack with it. Uh, hopefully it's leveled up, of course. You know, you have your leveled up. Then whenever you play it, you attack, it dies because it's ephemeral. But then last breath, you bring in a Scion return. So your first one will be 12 power overwhelm. And then your next one, 10 power overwhelm. And kill the opponent like that. But lots of other cool stuff to be doing in here. Lots of things to discard, um, put into play. And things that don't really mind the, the plus two, plus two and ephemeral uh, size. You know, for example, like Reborn Grenadier. It's already ephemeral anyway. So give this thing plus two, plus two. Now you're putting in, you know, five power reborn grenadiers everywhere. You get your three three challenger with the affectionate poro. That's pretty cool. Um, Katarina doesn't mind being ephemeral because whenever, you know, if you play Katarina, attack, strike, it will recall back to your hand because it levels up and recalls back to your hand before it dies from the ephemeral. So it doesn't mind being ephemeral. But of course, whenever it recalls back to your hand, it does lose that bonus from the encroaching shadows so there's just one of those in here warmonger can either be like a huge seven power overwhelm or you can just discard it um, fallen reckoner making things not be able to block pretty cool and then even like the fallen reckoner with ephemeral you know be a big overwhelm uh and then last breath it will create another big overwhelm uh in your hand so you don't really mind that having ephemeral so you know like this is this deck's not going to play very good defense uh we're going to have to be racing but we should put out some great attackers. Like no Noble Rebel, if we've discarded three cards, it gets five power, and then with Encroaching Shadow, make that seven power overwhelm. Like these are huge, huge attackers, as uh, you can see. So hopefully it gets the job done, because yeah, there's not really any removal spells in here. You're not play trying to play a long game, just uh, you know Encroaching Shadows and kill people quickly. So it'll be interesting to try out. This is a Nasher deck. Nasher built this deck. Uh, we're gonna be playing on over in Normal, because it's meme tier day. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, another attacking deck. Just hope they don't have their champions, right? Hope they don't have action on two and Sivir on four. Uh, or at least only have one or the other. We got Encroaching Shadows. I kind of want to keep Scion, Ballista, Encroaching Shadows. All right, I kind of want to keep these. Okay, not bad, not bad. I could have Gray Physician discard something. Oh, yeah, there we go. We can discard this Reborn Grenadier. All right, well, no need to play anything right now. They do have a great hand so far. All right, I don't know if we are actually going to outrace them or not, but we're going to try. Kind of see what happens. A little further. Bingo. Some big attackers. Like these one mana cards. Nothing lost. It's just waiting to be found. And you won't believe what we found today. So we're taking eight, going down to seven. So we're gonna blades edge the two one. But we'll level up Katarina. It's just a nick. It's a trap. Everything. Okay, so five mana. Maybe we play Iron Ballista Poro Poro. Doesn't really look like we're outracing our opponent this game. 
but they had a really good hand. You're covered. Wow. Yeah, that hurts. What's behind this door, you think? Deadly traps, angry guardians, bunch of gold. Okay, so that's game over. Good hand, Bright Steel Protectors, because I can challenge two Bright Steel Protectors. <clears throat> but they're still attacking for seven on the way back. It's the best I can do. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah. So if I attack here, they do level up their Sivir. Um. Yeah. It's a living. Good job, opponent. Lost to <laughs> Yep. All right, so we're playing against Feel the Rush Ramp. The thing I like about this matchup is they're not attacking too much, so we don't have to really worry about blocking, right? Because we don't block very well. So that's kind of cool. I like the Grave Physician, Reborn Grenadier, Salt and Stitches, you know, like all that. That's good. Um, this Reckoner, I think we'll send the Reckoner back. I would like to attack round one if we can, because we have the attack token round one. Um... So otherwise, we're just waiting. Yeah, I guess we just wait. Because we, we want to discard this Reborn Grenadier. So I guess we're going to be waiting until round three and attacking. Okay. So we can have this Encroaching Shadows buff again. So, like, maybe I should have done this last time, too. Maybe I should just, like, play the Grave Physician first. So we can have the 2-2 stay around. Nah. We don't need the 2-2 to stay around. Go ahead and throw your shadows. This is focus speed. I'm going to wait on this because we can use spell mana on this, right? So, like, we don't play stuff next round. We can save spell mana and then we can soul and stitches using spell mana. They're usually, like, an, you know, avalanche deck, that kind of stuff. We're going to have a pretty good attack next round. I have a pretty healthy attack next round. Alright, I waste a bunch of mana. Okay, so I have five plus three. Let's start with let's go Grey Physician. Reborn Grenadier, just so we draw first. No, let's just play this Iron Ballista. Or Draven, discard that. Okay. Fear it out. Alright, we're going Draven. So I can discard the spinning axe. A true Fragorian welcome. So to awaken the blood within. I guess now I have this fallen rider to discard. Leave your bags at the door. Mm. Rise again, my child. Frostbite is good against Ephemerals. Beautiful face. I'm seeing that.
All right, hopefully another unit that we can play. Ugh, I can't can't play that. Possible this ruination is going to be pretty good this round. I don't know. Like they don't get to feel the rush yet. Again, if they just play Trindamir, Trindamir survives through ruination. Yeah, it's a Trindamir. So much damage. These meta decks are beating up my mean tier deck. Hopefully, no atrocity, just let all those things die. Gotta hope no atrocity and no feel the rush. And I can put eight power of attacker still in play this round. I'm just hoping they don't have Field of Rush. Because I don't really know why they would play it. Like if I just what, play like a Affection Poro. Oh, they just have it. I mean, they don't have to always have every single card, <laughs> you know, curve out perfectly and have everything. <laughs> Alright, another meta deck. Yeah, I guess my opponents always do have everything, don't they? Like any play right there. I don't really like playing the Grenadier or anything. We can always rely on you to keep us safe. Now they predicted put a card on top so you know that they want to attack. I think this is a better round to keep try to keep them from attacking. Alright, cool. No going back. Just don't block at all. They're afraid. They should be. Like maybe I need to just keep Katarina in play and block and just trade away Katarina. I am very, very happy about that. Slows them down and everything. Don't really see the reason to play the Blade's Edge. Just gonna save spell mana. Whenever we have this Encroaching Shadows. Good 
card. No, probably not a rose now that the seasonal tournament's done. Hmm. So letting my 4 3 stay alive. You know, we ha they have a Rek'Sai that's going to have plus 4, plus 0 on top. We don't have time to play the Encroaching Shadows because we have to keep playing to the board. Do not want to trade, you know, like that treasure seeker and fallen reckoner. Do not want to make that trade. Okay, so we know that they have Rexi, a random lurker, you know, follower. And then they're going to be drawing the 2 mana 5 2 ephemeral for a round. Well, we can definitely see with our deck, like with all these games, that just not having any, any interaction at all and just only having units, it's really difficult to win games. And we knew that that was going to be the case if we were playing against good decks that. You don't have any, you know, nothing to stop your opponent. Hard to win. Okay, so I'd like to play Scion, but we can't, because we have to. We have to put out multiple blockers. We can't just play like one blocker. We're going to put out multiple blockers because we know at the very worst they have a two mana five two. Yeah, Eros says it's too hard. We need matches where people just play small things like Vandal stuff. So they can't block the Overwhelm. And they can't race us. That would be nice. Yeah, Eros also says, I don't know how to make this work, but the idea was neat. I agree. Yeah, it's a neat idea. Um, could probably use the one mana Shadow Isles card that reduces the cost of something and gives it ephemeral right like that that would give you like a decent one drop to play and also just kind of help make your deck a little faster when you don't mind it being ephemeral anyway well we have a chance because they didn't kill us here like that that last card must be too expensive. So it's got to be it's got to be like a it's like a jawfish or something. I mean, I just hope it's not a jawfish, right? Cuz I hope we can um, cuz if it's a, jaw, a jawfish, we lose, but if it's not Well, I guess okay. Oh, cuz we're going to have Scion Champion spell now. I could maybe stop a jawfish. Maybe. Like, if we get lucky. No, nope, very unlucky. Everything hits the Scion. Alright, so... Discard you. The meek shall not prosper! Okay. Well, that's good. I don't know why they blocked. They had no reason to block. That's great that they did. We have a chance again. They just don't block and then attack. We lose. Now 
block with those things. Why do we have to draw the affection of Poro? Basically, anything else in our deck would have been an okay draw. That's like the only card that we couldn't draw. Because I play the Risen Reckoner, they just don't have to attack. If I play the affection of Poro, yeah, we just have to play Risen, Risen Reckoner. They don't have to attack. But I guess neither of these can block. We have to. Ooh, okay, they did attack. So you can go trade, trade. Awesome. We're down to two, but, you know, like, they're out of cards. So, like, it's just a top deck war. And who knows? We know that they have a Lurker on top. But it's just a top deck war. Cool. Maybe we can win a top deck war? Oh, it was Pike. Rip. It was Pike. Pretty good lurker to top deck if you're gonna top deck a lurker. It's a pretty good one. So they have another Lurker on top. And it's not Rek'Sai. Really hope it's not another Pike. It wasn't, well, I guess that was just another Pike they had there. It was close. We got it to a top deck war. But they won the top deck war. I mean, I guess really Azir is like the closest to non-meta, but again, we don't... <laughs> Our deck doesn't block. And you kind of need to block against really Azir. Uh... So this probably isn't going to work out too well. But this is a pretty decent hand. We're going to keep it. So basically my plan here is we'll have like Affection Poro. Be able to challenge like Sparring Student. Oh, they didn't go Sparring Student. And then have like Spinning Axe discard the Reborn Grenadier. Like that. I don't know. I guess we just attack. Just kind of see what see what's up. Try to do some damage. Awesome. 
it's not only that, you know, like, every opponent's playing meta decks, but, man, we cannot run into an opponent that, like, stumbles at all, right? Like, every opponent has had really good hands. So, that's kind of how it is. Hang on, Buzzball. Hey. A little further. Bingo. This is pretty rough. That was one of my very best draws. Unfortunately, you know, like, I wish we could choose something to camp block, right? You know, I would have much rather have, like, the Treasure Seeker camp block. Yeah, they just do that. Gross. We're not a card advantage deck anyway. We gotta go for cheesing them out. Alright, they figured out how to block. Puts them down to two. And just kind of hoping that, that our 6-3 uh, that we're going to be creating from the Fallen Reckoner. Gosh, never mind. Not put them down to two. Treasure Seeker is a card that we've played against a lot in these games, right? Like, it's three straight Treasure Seeker decks, and the Treasure Seekers have been awesome against us. Whenever we're just playing, like, ephemeral units to attack, like, just getting a free 5-2 blocker, it. it's just been awesome. I think we need a spell finisher like Decimate or Fervor. I could see that. We, there's the one of Atrocity, but Atrocity is so expensive whenever you're trying to like play, you know, when you're playing like ephemeral units also. It's really hard to like then also play Atrocity. I mean, is this, is this just game over? It definitely needs some spells to interact with. Right? We need some kind of interaction. Encroaching Shadows is just really difficult to make work. I think that this would just be, you know, it'd just be better just to play the same Noxus cards with Scion with out Encroaching Shadows, probably. Yeah, I mean, this is just game over. Dead to the duo. Man, another great hand from our opponents, though. Dang. <laughs> okay, this, there's no way this is going to go well. All right, well, we didn't face any other meme tier decks. But there's, I mean, this is a, as good a hand as we can have, but I, I doubt we can outrace Pirate Aggro. Okay, so they're not trading. That would have given them, you know, a damage on this round to help level Gingplank if they wanted to trade. But I guess they did not. Let's get him, crew. Just gonna play the card they know about instead of Iron Blista. For the Empire. The few for the many. Victory at 
any cost! So hard to if they don't break, they'll burn. play this four mana card in these fast the matches. <laughs> yeah, Nasher, oh and four. We've played against all meta decks that have really good hands, and you know we just don't have the interaction they do. We have bailed out race. This hand has been awesome though. Like our hand's been really, really good. We had no, we did not have the attack token round one. Never mind. But our hand's been very good. And so I th think we have a shot here. Fortune favors the bold. <laughs> So put me down to five if I don't do any other blocking. I'm gonna have five points of burn and burn spells. Like if I lead with this, they'd have to have like decimate plus fervor or double fervor. Love ya. Maybe I should just have maybe I should just have the four three overwhelm block the two three because it only does like one extra point of damage anyway. Would have saved two life. Would have been at seven. So they have to have double fervor for those last two cards. I know what I'm doing. I guess just one fervor keeps them alive if they want to fervor a, an attacker. A double up deals four. Wow, a double up? Line up. That's a lot of yeah, the Katarina hasn't been any good for us, but the Katarina gives us a, an out. Atrocity? No, not Atrocity. I thought that was maybe Atrocity. Katarina could give us an out. With the Blade's Edge. So obviously we have to... like, w There's no way we should win this, right? Because like we have to Blade's Edge first. And then they get to respond. So, you know, they should have just drawn a spell with that. No, I was going to say, our only hope is going to be if it's Make It Rain and we hit all three and it hits all three units of the Make It Rain. That was our only hope. That was, that was the spell they drew. So close. Alright, so unfortunately couldn't uh, squeak out a win there. All those decks that we played against were all really good decks. And, you know, just better than our Encroaching Shadows deck. It's uh, it's interesting playing Encroaching Shadows with Scion for sure. Um, but I'm not sure exactly where we should go with that. But I definitely like those for sure. Those, you know, you know I definitely like eph Ephemeral with Scion. I think that that, that makes a lot of sense. Um, the Katarina wasn't that good. And, like, the Draven was super small. Like, even the Draven wasn't that good because it's just too small. Um... Discard cards overall were like okay, but you know, never having any removal, our opponents all always curving out really well. Like all five of our opponents had really good hands and they were playing good decks with good hands. Like it's you know, it's hard for an encroaching shadows deck to handle that. Like there's a reason why <laughs> nobody plays encroaching shadows. Um kind of feel like maybe you know, like Oblivious Islander would be a card that could really help out. Uh Fallen Reckoner looked just too slow, but kinda everything did. Alright, that's going to be it though for Scion Shadows. 
those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button. If you got any ideas, please leave those comments. Please give us those ideas if you got them. If you have any ideas for Encroaching Shadows plus uh, Scion, let us know in the comment section. I'd really be interested in hearing what y'all can come up with to, um, to help the deck out. But that's going to be it for this video. So as always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.